The law is changing and barristers are becoming more accessible. Clients can choose between solicitors, in-house advocates and independent barristers. In this highly competitive arena, traditional chambers have found new ways of serving their clients. One leading set, QEB Hollis Whiteman, have come up with an innovative move. Breaking with centuries of tradition, they've left the Inns of Court for new premises in the heart of the City of London. The Chambers has 55 barristers, including 14 QCs. Their main practice areas are crime, fraud and professional regulation and discipline. They also cover consumer law, health and safety and media and sports law, appearing for both defence and prosecution. Just before the big move, I visited them at their old home in the temple. Tell me about these chambers. What's special about them? It's service and expanding upon service, service to the client, whether it be the individual or whether it be the solicitor. We have fantastic advocates. The support amongst the advocates is fabulous. And the quality of work that comes to this chambers means that the quality of advocate improves and improves. <laughs> If these are such wonderful chambers though, well, why are you moving to the city? I think it's a fantastic opportunity. The facilities here are simply not sufficient, we feel, for the 21st century, and we're under real pressure of space. It's been something we've been looking into for a long time, and we finally found the right building in the right location. The building is Queen Anne, two houses knocked together, one side traditional, marble fireplaces, wood panelling, the other side state-of-the-art, high-tech, perfect, I adore it. Six conference rooms with video link, also the ability to have seminars for 80 to 100 people. So hopefully the new and the old complement each other. But the location is something that we've also thought quite strongly on. The building is in the heart of the city, but also only a few minutes' walk from the Old Bailey. It takes us to an area of the city in which a lot of our clients are based as well, and removes us a little bit from that traditional view that barristers are just stuck in the temple and don't know what's going on in the real world. And in a way, it has a sort of kind of metaphorical fit with us as a set of chambers. We're still barristers, we're still wearing wigs and gowns, we still observe some of the traditions of the criminal bar, but we're trying on the inside to be modern and flexible and have a creative and forward-thinking approach. A new building in the city is one thing, but how else do QEB Hollis Whiteman feel that they can stand out from the crowd? Recent changes to the bar's code of conduct allow barristers to accept privately funded work directly in all areas of the law. You can pick your own barrister if you're facing anything from a motoring offence to a murder charge. Well, ultimately, if things come to court, what's needed is someone who can present the client's case in its best form. And that's what advocacy is all about. It's about presenting the facts clearly, concisely and accurately and arguing the law in the same way where it's necessary. There is a thoroughness that's required to the work that we do, which you can get away sometimes without doing, but we believe that we are all absolutely assiduous at doing everything that can be done in order to get the best out of a case for a client. And I like to think that this is without doubt the nicest, warmest, shall we say most well-balanced set. It's a very special quality. It's as if it exists quite separate to the individuals who make up QEB. If that's the barrister's view, what do their clients think? What is it about QEB Hollis Whiteman? Why, why do you use them? Well, I think that Hollis Whiteman is in the elite, the small group of elite sets of chambers that deal with the most demanding and challenging cases that come before the courts in the UK. The ability of 
their council makes them stand out from many, many other sets of chambers. They provide a greater breadth of barristers and therefore the ability to refer work to a set of chambers knowing that it will be properly supported and resourced by others if necessary who have sufficient expertise is obviously an important, important consideration. A single star at another set of chambers um, it, it is obviously carries risks. And from an administration point of view, the clerking of barristers is also on a very high standard and it ensures that cases are dealt with effectively. Barristers have moved out of the Inns of Court before, but usually only to the fringes of legal London. Other chambers are keeping a close eye on QEB Hollis Whiteman, wondering whether this is a step too far or the start of a new movement at the bar. The building is really a part of what's happening to QEB, the development that we need to make to accommodate the changes which are taking place in the legal world so that we can provide our clients with a better, more effective service. This building now affords Chambers the opportunity to expand, to provide really good quality facilities, similar to what the clients would, would expect when they go to a solicitor's office, when they go and see their financial advisor uh, and the like. The bar has to move as a profession uh, and this is a sign that Thomas Whiteman has recognised that and taken really positive steps to address it.